So, uh, yeah, look at that helmet. That's for phase two. This is just for the phase two. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our Omega Expedition walkthrough, playthrough, because it's in the trial, it's in the experimental phase. I think this is how it's going to publish uh, publicly, but who knows? We're testing it out because you can now play with your uh, another, a previous save in the expedition. Very, very awesome. So in the last episode, we got a whole bunch of stuff done in phase two. I was going back and forth trying to expand my base. We also got a lot of phase three done. But we're here. We have our, uh, we have to build a chair. Where is it? We have to build a, oh, no, no, sorry. We have to build a construction or a ceiling light. And I think we still need sodium. Is that what we need? Yeah, we still need sodium for that. So that's where we ended last episode. So let's get some sodium. Let's build the ceiling light. And let's see what else we have to build for this uh, freaking base. Hopefully this is the last piece, because good lord. We built chairs. We built windows. We built a ton of stuff. So I kind of feel like uh, we should be done, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. We should be done. Let's do that. And that should be enough sodium. If we need more, I'll get more. Um, but oh, well, we gotta refill our uh, life support. So we need a ceiling light. Let's throw this on. Oh, we have no power. Do we need more power? What's going on here? Um, we are. We need a hundred and five, and we're only making uh fifty. So. Oh, I need metal platings. Just because I don't know if we need, uh, I don't know if we need it to be powered up or not. I want to make sure it's right. Let's pop that one. And one more. Right here. It looks like a mess. I know. I know. It looks like a mess. But we're just trying to power this place. Um, power this one. All right, come on. So now we should be generating enough power, right? Nope, we <laughs> still need more. Oh, well, it'll power up in a second. So we're at uh, dusk. We're about to power up fully. I should have just made a generator. That's probably what I need. Can I make another one? I can. One more of these. And always remember to power it up to connect all your wiring together. That way it powers everything up. All right. We're good. We're powered up. We'll get, we got power going. Let's make our ceiling lights. Did I use up all my stuff for ceiling light? I don't think I did. Good. Beautiful. Now let's pop this baby like right in the center, I guess. Boom. Done. Oh, thank God. Okay. I thought there was going to be more things I had to build. Thankfully not. All right. So let's finish off phase two. Uh, what else do we have to do? Oh, God, a black hole. We haven't done any of our rendezvous. So wait a minute. Ah, uh, we can, we can, we can uh, teleport back. Not a big deal. So we're going to go through a black hole, and that's going to take me to a random system somewhere, which is usually a pain in the butt, but we can... Uh, wait a minute. Did we just get a personal refiner? I think we got a personal refiner. Did we get that? Yes, we did. Oh, yes. I will take that. I will take a personal refiner. We don't need that. Put that in my ship. In the sh oh, man. My ship is uh, uh, com completely filled up. All right. Well, we got our... Uh, we got our uh, backpack refiner. Oh, yeah, so we can get rid of... Do we even have it? No, it's at the base. Okay, good. So, there should be... Oh, you don't have to... Usually, you have to talk to Polo in order to get your uh, black hole. But I guess we don't have to do that. We could just go look for it. Is it in the map already? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, they mark it automatically. So, yeah, they usually... Is that a... Is that a... Uh... Let's go to the rendezvous first. Let's do the rendezvous first. I hate... I hate using a black hole because it shoots you across the galaxy. And you don't know where you're going to end up. So... And especially, we're right next to the rendezvous. Let's just knock out the rendezvous. I don't know which one. Is this number three? I assume this is number three, right? 
Let's uh, get in here. And it's not number two. It's, yep, it is number three. So rendezvous number three right here. And remember, guys, I, I know I said this in the first episode, uh, but every rendezvous planet has an optional milestone to scan all the animals and plants and stuff as much as possible. And if everyone does it, it will complete the milestone for us and it will get cool rewards. So in phase one, if you scan a whole bunch of uh, planet, you know, if you scan a whole bunch of stuff like the plants, the animals, the rocks on planet Hunslow, we will all get a companion egg, 900 quicksilver, and inventory slots. So you get rewards, but remember, it is a community event, meaning we all have to contribute. It's not just me, it's not just you. Everyone has to, and once we get to a certain milestone, it'll start unlocking stuff. So we definitely have to do all of that. So at, every time you land on a, uh, a rendezvous planet, just take a few minutes to scan. You don't have to scan every single thing. Scan a handful of things. Scan like five things, ten things, whatever it is. Whatever you can, just, you know, make sure to scan. I'd say, you know, scan more than three. More than three. And I assume that's not the rendezvous point. It's probably going to be right here, right? I have a feeling... Oh, maybe over there. Oh, God. Now I don't know where. Oh, it's probably the crashed freighter. Yeah, it's probably right here. Crashed freighter. Let's land here real fast, and we can start scanning some stuff. This will be Rendezvous 3. Perfect. Let's uh, accept the reward for Rendezvous 3. Yeah, inventory. Oh, for my starship. Thank God I need that. Now we have more room to put all this stuff in my starship. <laughs> uh, and I think that's good. All right, and I think that there is a uh, visit the site of a sunken freighter. So we're probably going to have to, um, yeah, you know what? Let's see. Can I, uh, can I make a, a submarine? I cannot. Dang it. I know this is a water planet. That's why I, I thought about it. I was like, mm, maybe we can do a sunken freighter. We'll do one later on. Not a big deal. We can get the uh, one later on. Um, let's look around plants. I don't see any animals. Give me some animals. I want to scan a lot of stuff. There you go. Ah, uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's get over here. Oh, yeah, we need to learn some words as well, you guys. So, as you're going along, don't forget, you have to learn some words as you're going. So, let's pop this. Learn this word. I think you need to learn 16 different words. It does not matter if it's 16 in one alien race or another. Does not matter. All you have to do is learn 16 total words. So just make sure to pop those uh, words while you can. Here we go. Gotta scan some stuff here. Scan the rocks. Doesn't matter what it is. Rocks, plants, animals, doesn't matter. Just make sure to scan a lot of items. What is this? What is this? Is it a butterfly? Oh, I guess it's a flying animal. All right. I mean, I guess that works, right? Okay, that. Oh, we have a hazardous plant. That counts as well. Your sodium, your oxygen, all that stuff counts. So I think we've done a good amount. Oh, you know, since we're here anyway, let's get the, the uh, bird. Beautiful. You make money while you're doing it as well, so it might as well. So that is done. Let's do the uh, the black hole. That way we finish off phase two. This will be done, thankfully. Now let's uh, just go through. All we have to do is go through a black hole. You don't have to, like, any particular black hole. Doesn't matter. Any special one. So they mark the location of one, but you don't need to go to that one particularly. You can go to any one you want. So let's pop in here. And it used to be, way back in the day, when you went through a black hole, it would break your equipment. It does not do that anymore, which is kind of nice. That way you don't have to worry about, oh, I go through a black hole and now my engine is broken or whatever. Don't have to worry about any of that. Very, very awesome. And these are so freaking cool. I love going through all this stuff. Because the special uh, loading screen, I wish they did a little bit more. But, I mean, it is pretty cool.
That is a lot brighter than I remember. Holy cow! That is a lot brighter than I remember. So we went through! We're good! So we should have all of uh, phase two done now. Phase two is completed. Prepackaged cloaking device. We don't need that. Chromatic metal. Yeah, I'll take that. And repair kit. Times three. Beautiful. And we have it finished, which means we got the Atlas he head shield. So the Atlas helmet, guys. We got the Atlas helmet. Are you kidding me? Yes. 100% yes. Atlas helmet. So you know what that means, right? We're going to have to go and, uh, and customize our appearance. And we're going to land on this uh, space station. So while we're here, we're going to talk to some aliens. This is a really easy way to learn alien words. You need to get 16 of them. And I think every uh, space station has a minimum of five. And sometimes you'll get eight or ten. Depending on the space station, you'll see some walking around. Sometimes they'll be uh, the travelers. Travelers don't teach you words. But on the whole, you're, you're going to get a good group of them here. Some of them will be uh, aliens that you can take back to your base. They will not teach you anything. Or any words, anyway. There we go. We'll just pop in here. Trade symbol. Thank you. We got this guy. Okay, he's good. Thank you. Give me that. Give me Learn that aggression symbol. Beautiful. And if you want to know if you've already talked to one, highlight their name and you'll see visited underneath their name. That means I've already talked to them. They won't teach me any more words. They only teach you one word, and that's it. So once you've talked to them once, you're good to go. Request a dialect to help. Thank you. And request dialect help. Thank you. We're just learning all the words here. Yeah, this is a good this is a good amount. We're gonna be like more than halfway done just with this one station, which is awesome. Oh yeah. We were here for the appearance modifier, so I should probably do that as well, because I want to change out that helmet. We claimed it, so now we have it. And remember, all the rewards that you claim on the expedition are shared between all of your saves. So as long as they're on the same profile, it all works out. Give me that and friendship symbol. Visited, visited. Oh, have not visited the warrior. And there you are. And the captain. Let's learn a word here. That should be it. All right. So, oh, excuse me. It landed on your uh, your shuttle there. I apologize. The uh, pilots will not teach you a word either. So don't worry about the pilots. Those are just for uh, talking to them to buy their ship or buy materials from them. Let's change out our helmet. So we're going to go to the, I guess, anomaly? Is that the one we need? So we'll go to head and see. Is it here? Um, I'm not seeing it here, so maybe not. Maybe in the traveler? Oh, no, no. We are the traveler, so in the anomaly head? And then we're going to go to the heads. Yes, it's an it's anomaly. Okay. The Atlas head. Look at that helmet. Are you kidding me? That's freaking awesome. And you know, I got to go with the uh, purple and blue, right? Got to go with purple and blue. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. I'll do purple. There you go. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I like it. There we go. Oh, no, of course. We're going to have to do our normal uh, get up. There it goes. And this is, I'm giving away my secrets on uh, what I usually choose for my colors. This is how I do it. I do purple with a blue highlight, usually. No, no, no. We'll do purple. That one. That one blue? Nope. That's purple as well. We'll go dark. That way it stands out. Always the first one. Always the first one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Nope. There it goes. 
And wait a minute, oh yeah, we're our uh, OG permadeath, so it has to be purple and red, not blue. Ah, oh, well, we'll do blue. Just because I, I know this one by heart. Kind of. Here we go, gloves. Yep, oh yeah, we've done the gloves, we need the legs now. Oh, we did the legs, boots. There we are. Boots need to be done. And our backpack. So we don't have anything? Oh yeah, we're in the uh, expedition, so we don't have anything really unlocked. Okay. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Look at that helmet. That's for phase two. This is just for the phase two. All the other rewards are going to look freaking awesome. Look at that. Freaking legend, man. Legend. All right. So now, well, let's go to phase three. We need to do contraband and manufacture liquid explosive. Oh, that's like going to be a pain in the butt. So, to make liquid explosive... Um, oh, we need to... Oh, my God. We need to go to the Space Anomaly anyway. Dang it. Well, before we do that, let's see if we find a pirate system around us. So, the easiest way to smuggle contraband is to buy illegal or black market items in a pirate system, an outlaw system and then sell it in a normal system. And remember, in our last episode, we installed the economy scanner. So now we can look at every system and know if it's a pirate system or not. And I will show you how. Uh, we saw one over here. Oh god, where is it? I just saw the... Uh, you'll see a little pirate skull. And that's how you know it is a pirate system or an outlaw system. Where is it at? No? I could have sworn I saw one. Maybe I'm just losing my mind here. I could be just losing my mind. Come on, outlaw. Out there is one. Okay, there's one right there. So you see, right next to that geck head, there's a little tiny skull. And if you expand it out, it is called a black market. So that means it's a outlaw system. It's a black market, an illegal market. We know we can go here. We can buy some stuff. Be prepared, though, because you cannot... You cannot teleport between a normal system and a uh, black market system. You have to warp with your warp cells, with your hyperdrive. So, meaning you can't use a teleporter to go from a regular system to an outlaw system, or vice versa. You can't go from an outlaw system to a regular system either. So, oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff to sell and get rid of. Cloaking device we don't need. Oh. We got some music going on here. What's going on? We got creepy music. We got creepy music. Yeah, well, we're here to buy some illegal stuff here. Let me buy this. And so you just need to sell... How much do we need to sell for? We need to sell 120,000. So we need to buy 120,000 worth of black market stuff. Um, Let's do that. Seven. 600,000 and we're gonna sell don't sell your black market stuff here. It won't count You have to sell your you have to sell it to a regular system to be smuggling Um, we do not need the bromide salt We do not need the mango We don't need the Glass, I think we're done with our base building. I hope All right, so like I said earlier, there is a teleporter here. Where is it at? But, every system we've been to so far has been a regular system, which means we cannot travel back to it. C says, clearance not granted. I'm not allowed to go to any normal system. I can only go to another pirate system. So this is not going to work. I'm going to need to go manually fly to a free, like a normal system. And then I'll be able to sell my, uh, my black market stuff. Well, let's go. Let's go to... I guess just this one. That was a normal one. There you go. All your... Most of the systems are going to be normal, so it's not that hard to find it. You just need to get there. And make sure to go really quickly get into the space station because the Sentinels will scan you if you have black market items. And so they will know, oh, you're smuggling, and they'll try to shoot you down. 
So just immediately land on a, uh, a space station and get rid of it. And then we can, uh, look for... Oh god, what is that? What do we need? What do we need for a menu, uh, liquid explosive? I know we need cactus, right? Oh yeah, we need to get the... Oh man, god. We need to get the, uh, blueprint for it first. I believe it's cactus... ...and something else. God, I can't remember what it is. I am old and I, I, uh, I should have probably looked this up. <laughs> but... I'm old and I forget stuff. I knew how to make it a long time ago, because it used to be... A way long time ago. I mean, it's still viable, but there's other ways to make money. But a long time ago, you would have to uh, make farms for, like, your liquid explosive or for your stasis device. That way you can sell it and make a ton of money. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I need to learn words. I totally spaced out. I should have talked to the ones on the pirate system. Ah, oh, man. Oh, well. I totally forgot. I have to, I have to learn words from these uh, aliens here. I had to learn 16. We should be basically there. Yep. I wonder how close we are. Where are we? And... What are we at? What are we at? Um... Oh, look at that! 15 out of 16. We need one more word and we're done. Okay, I was basically there. I could have finished it off on the pirate system, but... I totally spaced out. I was so worried about buying stuff that I didn't even think about. Oh, talk to some aliens and learn some words. This should be it. Oh yeah, learn 16 words. And again, it doesn't matter which ones, as long as you learn a total of 16. There we go. Now we're going to sell our smuggled stuff. Uh, our banned weapons for 1 million. Okay, that's a little bit more than the 120,000 they were requesting. <laughs> All right, done and done. Got that completed. So now, let us go back to... Oh, God, wait a minute. Yeah, you know what? Let's go back to our... Uh, let's go back to our space station. Uh, rendezvous number three. There, Look at that. I like how they marked rendezvous number three, rendezvous number two. They started doing that. Is that new? That has to be new, right? I don't remember them saying what the rendezvous is. So rendezvous one... Two and three, they tell you what system it is. That's genius. Well, let's go back to rendezvous. No, let's go back to rendezvous three because that's the farthest we've been so far. And then we can uh fly out of here and we'll go talk to the uh the freaking um what's it called? The space anomaly. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need a glove. We need to get our uh our gauntlet, our hazmat gauntlet knocked out. So let's do this real fast. Get out of here. Thank you. Can we make the hazmat gauntlet? I think we should, we have the recipe, right? Yes, we do! And we have sodium nitrate and chromatic metal. Done. Wait a minute. Did I get that as a reward? Now nah, well, I'll screw it. Let's just do it. We built it! I don't know if it came as a reward. It probably will. I'm just going to... I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, Let's go into the space anomaly. Call it in. And again, just like in the last episode, I wish they would tell you all the stuff you're going to need to buy, all the blueprints, because it's kind of irritating going back and forth, back and forth. Like, oh, go uh, go do one mission. Oh, head back to the Space Anomaly and buy a blueprint. Do two more missions. Oh, head back to the Space Anomaly and buy another blu blueprint. You're like, what? just tell me all of the blueprints I need. You're killing me. All right. So yeah, there you go. It marks the location at least. I like I do like that. That's an improvement. Because before it'd be just like, oh, go get the liquid explosive. And you're like, well, what where, where is that? If I'm a brand new player, I don't know that the marker or the place to buy it is back here. Now I do. So that's pretty nice. And then does it open the page? It does not open the page. Why doesn't it open the page? So go to your valuable products and over here on the left hand Excuse me, the left-hand side. Oh, we need to open the tree. Okay, so we need acid, lubricant, unstable gel, and then liquid explosive. So you have to unlock the tree all the way down. Lubricant. Yep. 
Unstable gel. And we just we're just unlocking all the way down until we get to liquid explosive. Done. Now, what you might not know is in No Man's Sky, there are really advanced blueprints that you need to make. So, if I come in here and I look at liquid explosive, it says, hey, you need acid and unstable gel. And you're like, oh my god, I don't even know how to get that. Do I have to buy that? No. You can make all this stuff. However, they don't tell you all the steps until you see at the bottom it says view craft steps. Press X if you're on Xbox or square if you're on PlayStation. And it brings up the tree. So I know in order to make one liquid explosive, I need one acid and one unstable gel. In order to make these, I have the tree underneath them. I need cactus and fungal mold. That's the one I was trying to think of. Fungal mold. So it tells you how much you need for each item. So I need 200 cactus. Oh, Jesus. And 600 fungal mold. And 25 more. That's easy enough. If you kill a, an animal, you'll probably get that much. Maybe a couple animals and you'll be good. All right, but that's going to be hard to find. So we need to go to a desert planet. And we need to go to a toxic planet. Well, great. Let's go see if there's even one in this system. I mm, maybe, maybe. Let's go. Uh, I guess we're gonna find it. Now I believe maybe in rendezvous number four there is a cactus planet, but I'm not positive on that. Either way, the way you can find out if a planet has cactus on it is. It will tell you in the description of that planet. So if you go out and hover over it, or if you just press pause, go to your discovery tab. It'll tell you this planet has copper, rusted metal, sodium, high sentinel activity. That does not have cactus on it. That one has fungal mold. At least we have a fungal mold planet in this system. We can go get our fungal mold there. Uh, selenium, copper, phosphorus. Don't have that. Star bulb, copper, nothing. Selenium, copper, okay, and Fecium. We don't need any of this stuff. So the only planet we can use in this system is this one that has fungal mold on it. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to try to do is let's go to the next rendezvous. I know that one of the rendezvous systems has what you need. That's why they're the rendezvous systems. So let's keep going, and we'll hit the uh, expedition route, and we'll go to the next rendezvous. This is rendezvous number four, right here. Beautiful. So let's knock out uh, rendezvous number four. We'll go to the rendezvous point. We'll scan some stuff, because every rendezvous point, remember, got to scan some stuff there. But let's check all the planets as well. I'm sure that this one has cactus on it. And... Pause. Frost crystals. Frost crystals. Star bulb, copper, paraffinium, selenium. Cactus flesh! There you go, cactus flesh. And. Oh my god, there's no fungal mold in here. Oh well, you know what? Cactus is gonna be the hard one to find. So, rendezvous three has your fungal mold. Rendezvous four has your cactus flesh. And cactus flesh, I think, is the one we need the most of, right? Let's see. We need the most... No, no! Fungal mold! Oh, crap. I went through the wrong... Oh, well. Cactus flesh is still hard to find, so let's get the cactus flesh. Actually, maybe two birds with one stone. Is the uh, rendezvous four, is that on the planet that has cactus on it? Please tell me. It is not. Dang it, it's on the paradise planet. Where's the cactus planet? Frost. Are you here? Selenium. Are you way over there? Starfoot? What? Where is it at? There's a cactus planet. So is it behind here? Oh, wait a minute. Let's go to first person. And... No, what? Where is this planet at? Am I losing my mind here? Is it that one? Frost crystals. Oh, wait a minute. There's a planet over here that I'm not looking at because I'm way crazy. All right, there we go. So, let's land on this planet, and we'll get our cactus flesh. Um, we don't need any of that stuff. We can also get... What is the other ingredient we need? We need mordite. Yeah, mordite, cactus flesh, and fungal mold. We need a lot of fungal mold. So, when you get to rendezvous number three, there is a fungal mold planet. Go down there and grab your 
Uh, fungal mold clusters. Go do that. That'll make it easy. 600 is a lot. You're going to have to grab a whole bunch. So, in general, each plant will give you, like, 20 or 30. And so, yeah. <laughs> You're going to need a lot of plants. Like, it's not so bad with the cactus flesh. You can get that done in a few clusters. But this one... You're going to have to fly around for a while. And there is a, a trick to finding this stuff. So for most of these special plants, they will glow. That way you can see it at night. So what I would recommend is go to the dark side of the planet right down here. And then when you fly around, you'll see something glowing on the ground. That is your plant. I don't think cactus does, but fungal mold will. Solar uh, vines will. A lot of these special plants will. I don't think cactus does them, but we're going to find out. Uh, the gamma root, that one gro uh, glows yellow. Fungal mold grows, uh, glows green, of course. And, oh no, cactus does not glow. I mean, it still stands out. Like, that's cactus right there. You can still kind of see it. It stands out, but it doesn't glow in the dark. Let's grab this really quickly. We just need 200. So yeah, we got... How much out of that? We got 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh my, okay. 50 out of that. 98. So we're going to get 200 pretty quick. There we go. 32. 191. So we're up to 289. We got plenty. Plenty. The other thing you got to get is Mordite, so we have to, um, take out an enemy, or take out a, an animal. Where are you at? Maybe not here. These animals look like they're really fast. Yeah, hey, I'm not going to be able to get that. It's underground. What? Oh, well, we won't get the animal here. So we're going to have to go back to rendezvous number three just to make my life a little easier. We know it's there. I just have to go get it now. But since we're here, let's go land on the uh, rendezvous number four planet. Get that knocked out really quickly. And yeah. And then we just, yeah. For three, we just have to do our liquid explosive. That's going to be, yeah, it's going to be kind of a, a pain to do, but we can get it done. We can get it done easy. Make sure to recharge all of my stuff. That way I have full full fuel on everything. Oh, yeah. Inventory is very packed full of stuff. Do not get rid of the carrier AI fragment. That's a reward. We're going to need that later on. Um, I mean, we should have done our technology uh, upgrades, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. I need more room for my technology. I need one at least for that. Um, we don't need that. Um, we have our cactus flesh. We need to keep that. Do I only need that for the, uh, acid? Yep. Unstable gel. So, again, if you go to the build menu, it'll s tell you... Oh, there you go. Boom. So we're done with that. All we need now is our fungal mold and our mordite. So I don't need to keep the rest of this cactus. You can just get rid of it. Done. Beautiful. Get rid of it. And then we're on the, uh, the Paradise Planet. Man, it's a long distance between planets. Holy cow. What do we do in Phase 4? Um, bake some biscuits. Find a site of a sunken freighter. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do all this stuff. So we're going to go back to Rendezvous number 3. That system, that way we can uh, unlock the, uh, what's it called? The fungal mold and just get that knocked out really, really quickly. So boom, boom, boom. Can I not? Um, yeah, we're going to need some room in our ship. So let's do that. Once we get down here. And I believe this is going to be a portal location. So you're just looking for a portal when you get down here. Again, I hate, absolutely hate the target sweeper. It's the worst thing ever made. The worst addition to this game ever done. And is that it? Yep, that looks like it's it right here. Let's just land. Is that it? Did I get it? And again, this is a rendezvous planet, so we're going to scan everything here. 
Come on, give me one. Give me one. There you go. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can get some uh, uranium. Thank God. This will be useful. So uranium is very good for launch fuel for your ship. I love that helmet. The helmet looks crazy. Look at this thing. It looks like a horn's coming through my uh, my suit here. Freaking awesome. So we'll claim this real fast. Let's scan some uh, animals here. Any trees I can scan? There we are. Oh, wait a minute. Not that one. That one. Good. Sweet root. Wait a minute. Let me look. Bake some biscuits. So, we need flour and sugar. Flour and sugar. So, guys, flour and sugar means you need wheat and you need sweet root, which you can refine down to uh, wheat or uh, sugar. So, let's get this sweet root while we're here. Just planning ahead. Just planning ahead. You can also do this anytime you if if you run into wheat and uh, any sweet root, you can always pick it up for later on. But there's one here. So rendezvous number four would be your uh, location to grab this. And now, is there any wheat around here? Epiloid wheat! So let's do that. I love this planet. Look at it. It's a paradise planet with glowing purple grass. Are you kidding me? How much better can you get? None. This is perfection right here. This is paradise. I absolutely love this! I grab the wheat, and we're good! That's all we need. We only need one of each. So let's also scan, because again, we're on the rendezvous planet. Let's scan some stuff. Where are you at? Can I scan that? I can. Okay, good. Nothing, nothing. Really? Oh, there's some rocks. We can scan the rocks! We can scan the hazardous flora! Come on, come on! All right, you go in the cave for a second. We can scan all these rocks in here and the marrow bulbs. They count. Maybe not. I can't scan these ones. Really? Oh, you suck. Well, give me another one. Give me something. There we go. I got all these rocks. I did. I did. I did. No. Okay, did I scan everything? I scan everything? I think I did. Scan the sodium. There we go. Where's my ship? Scan all these. I did. Alright, we did our job. We scanned a lot of stuff here. I scanned basically everything that's like in my immediate vicinity. Oh wait, er, that rock right there. We got it. Easy peasy. Let's get in here. Now we need to go back to rendezvous. What did I get? What did I get? Oh, yeah. Rendezvous number four. Got it. Our, uh, okay. Multi tool upgrades. I'll take that. So we need to go back to rendezvous number three. Is the space station real close? It is not. So it's just easier to go right into the Space Anomaly. Space Anomaly has a teleporter. You can use that. It's way faster. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, we have our... Uh, we have to make our uh, Memory of Bones. Oh, yeah. Ionized Cobalt. We need to refine our uh, Cobalt. And I have enough. Oh, we need to uh, power this thing up, though. All right. So let's get our Ionized Cobalt done for our Memory Fragment. Uh, where's my, uh, there we are. Gotta make sure I'm on the right one. Uh, liquid explosive. Now, it tells you you can make a farm, and that is absolutely true. However, if you make a farm, it's gonna, it's gonna take you hours to grow the materials. It's probably a lot faster to just find a planet that has the materials you need and pick everything with your hazmat gauntlet. 
Way, way easier. So, rendezvous number three. There we go. Way easier to do it that way. You can, if you want to, sit back and enjoy the ride, and you can just make a farm. They, they force you to make a biodome, and that's where you grow your plants. However, even to order, in order to grow the plants, you still need to have at least a little bit of it. So it doesn't make sense to grow a farm. It does not make sense at all. You honestly are way better off just finding a planet that has fungal mold or cactus on it and just pick it that way. We have enough of this. I think we have enough for our uh, our next... Uh, yeah, we do! For the memory of bones! So now we should have the memory of bones. And begin the ritual. Activate it. And then while we're uh, heading towards our planet that has the fungal mold on it... Where is it at? There it is! You have to pull, you have to pull drive while the, uh, the seed is activated. And let's... Okay, that's a skull! Grave of the Ocean King. Subroutine Traveler. Memory status corrupted. Atlas Diagnostic. Iteration Clash possible. Beginning log readout. A cycle. Rebirth. Death. Extinction. Iteration. All life just an echo. Before dust and decay. Let's absorb the memory. I cannot help but grasp at the sheer size of the titan dwelling within this memory. Illusion or not, I am glad it is only bones. As my initial surprise fades, I find myself wondering, why is this creature dead? Why not choose to remember it in the glory of life? What, wh and what could kill such a being? But the bones do not answer my questions. They merely exist. All right, we have that one, deep glass. Screamed into the void. Oh my god, am I gonna get stuck in here and die? Don't do that. Let's go click that one. And now we have the memory of the void. We need Pugnium, so we're gonna have to go take out some Sentinels, but I'm not worried about that yet. Let's get our uh, upgrades here so we have our pulse engine module. Oh my god, yeah, we need more room in our ship. Holy cow. Um, we also have a, uh, oh my god, a launch. Oh my god. Yeah, we definitely need more room. More room! So, oh god, remember what I told you, go to the dark side because the fungal mold will glow. So, let's go down here and it'll glow green. Get out of the cloud, come on. Unless the, uh, unless the planet has a tint to it, then you're screwed like this. God dang it. Yeah, there's no way. It's a purple filter, so everything else looks green. Mother trucker. Oh, well, great. Let me look around here. Yeah, everything looks green. God. Everything looks green. So I can't tell where the fungal mold is. All right, well, in this case, if you can't see it, like me, we're going to have to land. Everything is green. Driving me crazy. Wait, does it pull out of- Oh yeah, now the filter goes away when I land! What? Look at that worm! Look at that worm! Alright. Fungal mold? Pulpy roots. Nope. Oh god, this is gonna take me a minute. Subterranean uh, structure. Jade peas. Jade peas. Fungal cluster! That's what we're looking for. So as we get closer, you'll see it glows. But, you know... It doesn't help me on this planet simply because everything is is uh, purple and green from the atmosphere. Oh yeah, see there you go. It glows per uh, green. Look at that. And we need six hundred of. Th oh lord, we got twenty nine out of that. And we got another. Mm, this is not going to be good. This is going to take me a year and a half. Jade peas. Sweet root. Jade peas. GP, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. This is going to take a minute, you guys. So, I'm going to be walking around this planet for a while. I'm going to probably... Uh, you know what? I'm going to end the episode there. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to collect the fungal uh, clusters. Because remember, we need 600 of them, and I have 58. I need 10 times that. Oh, my God. 
All right, so I'm going to have to do that 10 more times minimum to get that. So hopefully you guys liked the episode. Wait a bit. If you did, hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one.